What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name's Chris, and here we explore products, places, and things that help us live a more enjoyable life. Today, we're gonna talk about the Cast Protoni Icon, which I think is one of the best new helmets available on the market today. And I think it's a great helmet for gravel, road, as well as mountain biking. I share my perspective on this helmet as what I would call the everyday athlete. I ride around 7,500 miles a year. I love smashing the pedals with friends, but I don't get paid to ride a bike. Like many of you, I'm just trying to squeeze in a Dawn Patrol ride and get back in time to see my wife and kids before heading off to work. I try to treat these videos like as if we're on a group ride and we're having a conversation. You said, hey Chris, what do you think about that helmet or this bike or this group set? So I share my thoughts and opinions and I hope it comes across as such. I've spent the last week or so on the road, starting in Joshua Tree National Park, then home for a couple days, and then back on the road up to Monterey, and then back home via Big Sur, El Moro, and Malibu. When I was in Monterey, I attended Sea Otter and had a blast catching up with old friends as well as meeting new friends. I finally got a chance to take the crux out on Laguna Seca, which has been something that I've wanted to do for quite a while now. And let me tell you, it was fantastic. Personally, I've been using the original cask Protoni on and off for the last five or six years, as I'm sure many of you have. And if you haven't used it, I'm sure you ride with someone who has ridden in this helmet. It's gotta be one of the best selling helmets of the last seven to eight years. Heck, I was just on a group ride this morning. I think I counted about a half dozen guys wearing the cask Protoni. Aesthetically, the new Protoni Icon is almost indistinguishable from the original Protoni. And I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. In fact, I'm pleased to see that Cask didn't do a full external overhaul of this helmet because I rather like the way that the original one looks. Think about it like a 911. Oftentimes the differences between 911 generations are very subtle with most of the changes being internally and not externally. If you're concerned with the way the new Protoni Icon may look with your sunglasses, I've tried everything from the massive 100% Glendales to the more normalish sized 100% S3s down to the Ku demos. And I think they all look and feel great with this helmet, at least with the way that my head is shaped. I did, however, have a little bit of an issue with the 100% Glendales, where the arms kind of touched the back retention system. So something to consider if you've got a set of sunglasses with long arms. I think one of the strong points of the Protoni is just how well it breathes, and the Protoni Icon is no exception. In fact, if anything, I'd say it's maybe a little bit better moving closer to what is the Vallegro. That's one of the things I love about this helmet is it breathes really, really well. When it comes to comfort, anybody who's ridden the original Protoni will know that this is a very comfortable helmet. And I think that Cask has stepped it up even more with the Protoni Icon and the implementation of what they call the OctoFit Plus retention system. And I like this retention system a lot, like a lot. It may be one of the best that I've ever used. It makes your head feel incredibly snug and secure in the helmet without having any kind of pressure points on individual spots on your head. One of the features that carries over from the original Protoni is that nice leather chin strap that Cask is known for. A chin strap that is light years ahead of any other helmet that I know. And I think it's just one of those little touch points in creature comforts that set the Protoni and the Protoni Icon out from the rest of the field. And it's just so Italian, isn't it? I love it. One of the things I've also noticed is that I haven't had the issue of sweat just dripping into my eyes like I did on the original Protoni. And again, maybe that's just me, but I think there are a handful of people out there who've had the same issue. And I'm not sure if they've changed the foam or the pads or the sweat management system, but so far I haven't had that issue, knock on wood. Give me a few more hot days in spring and a couple days in summer, and I'll report back on how that's working out. Also, they did say that the new Protoni Icon is more ponytail friendly. So I guess I'm growing out my hair now. One thing you won't find on the new Protoni Icon is a MIPS logo anywhere on the helmet. Instead, Cask has opted for the WG11 safety certification. So if you are a big MIPS fan, that may be a deal breaker for you, something to consider. If you're looking for a great all-around helmet that'll work for road, gravel, as well as mountain biking, I think the Cask Protoni Icon should be at the top of your list. If you're looking for something that's a little more aero in the cask line, you have the cask Utopia. If you're looking for something that's a little bit better ventilated, you have the cask Allegro. And then right in the middle of those two, you have the cask Protoni Icon, which has somehow found the perfect balance, I believe, between aero and ventilation. 
And that's one of the reasons that I think makes it a worthwhile consideration for just about every rider out there. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting the subscribe and like button. It goes a long way and helps the channel. In the next few videos, I'm gonna talk about the Hammerhead Karoo 2 and my thoughts on using and traveling with it over the last 500 miles. I'm gonna talk about some of the supplements that I've used that I think work for short group rides all the way up to 200 mile endurance events. And I'm gonna talk about why the Specialized Athos is just hanging in my garage. Anyways, until next time.